What's going on guys? I'm Steve. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. If it's your first time stopping by the channel, hit that subscribe button. Trust me, you won't regret it. If you're a returning subscriber, as always, guys, welcome back and I do appreciate the support. Guys, um, there are a lot of weak dudes out here. There are. You know, especially younger folk, man, when, you know, they just see the world differently. I mean, a lot of the stuff they do have a lot of older men scratching their head. And this story right here is no different. And a story didn't happen some time ago in uh, Orlando, Florida, where this crime took place. It's involving this man right here. This guy right here is Jordan Talley. Let me see if I can find out how old he is. He's 27 years old. This guy right here is charged with manslaughter after an attack that happened in April in downtown Orlando. What happened was this guy was abusing his girlfriend, fighting on his girlfriend out in public now. When a good Samaritan or a guy whose name is uh, Donald Story, 64-year-old man out celebrating with his family, he seen it. He said, that's not right, and went to go say something to him. As he was walking over to this man, this man punched him. He fell and hit his head, and he died a month later in the hospital, which was recently. You know, a lot of people say, hey, you know, people need to mind their business and things like that. But I mean, it all comes it all comes down to your upbringing and how you perceive right and wrong. I don't know anybody that to see somebody getting brutally beat up, especially a woman by a man, which men know can easily obliterate most chicks because, you know. It's just the testosterone that's in us. But either way, man. This is some coward stuff. And uh, take a look at it if you don't believe me and judge for yourself. All right, Cam. Well, a man is now facing charges for allegedly killing a good Samaritan in downtown Orlando. Investigators say the victim was trying to stop the suspect from beating a woman. West 2's Bob Hazen at the Orange County Courthouse where that suspect had a hearing this morning. This was our first time seeing the accused killer who's accused of punching a man in his 60s who was trying to help a woman in need. 27 year old Jordan Talley sat in court where prosecutors wanted a judge to hold him in jail until he goes to trial. Orlando police say in late March, Talley was at the corner of Robinson and Magnolia downtown and threw his girlfriend to the ground. At the same time, a family walking by while celebrating their daughter's engagement saw the attack happen. One of them was 64 year old Donald Story. According to a criminal complaint, police say, quote, the victim's daughter heard her father say, that's not right and head to the direction of the female who was being battered by a male. But as he walked up to Tally, he quote, turned to him and stated, what are you going to do about it? And then punched Donald in the face. The victim fell and hit his head on the ground and was taken to the hospital. Almost a month later, he died. The suspect left, but police said they tracked it back to Tally, who lives in Georgia. Detectives say he admitted to hitting story, but couldn't explain why and said, quote, he stated he was not in fear for his life or safety, even stating he is not afraid of anything. Tally was arrested for manslaughter and originally given a bond so he could get out. But now prosecutors are hoping to convince a judge to keep him in jail. In Orlando, Bob Hazen, WESH 2 News. That's the story of uh, Jordan Talley and made Donald's story, age 64, rest in peace for trying to do the right thing or what he perceived to be the right thing, All even though it's up in the air, depending on who you ask, as far as if he should have intervened or not. But it's very hard to see somebody getting their ass beat in public, you know, especially by somebody that don't care that the public is seeing it. And that's the thing. You got a lot of these abusers nowadays back in the day. The abuse was done inside the house or somewhere where nobody else could see. And you just see the aftermath of the bruises and scars of what somebody did. Nowadays, this is out in the open. It's nothing for a dude to punch a woman in the face or, or fight on her in the presence of other women or men or even children nowadays. It's unacceptable. Shouldn't be fighting no damn way. All these stories I do on domestic violence come down to one thing. A relationship goes the way a man goes, you know, wants it to go, meaning we are the ones that dictate if it's going to be a relationship or not. You don't see no women coming up to men, you know what I'm saying, and forcing themselves on, on, on them like, yo, you won't be with me. At well, wait, wait, wait a minute. Let me, let me rephrase that. You do see that sometimes in some of the stories. I did. But 
you ultimately a guy usually is the one that facilitates a relationship and breaks up with the woman. And that brings me down to this point right here. All these stories where guys are arguing, fighting over phones, beating on these girls and stuff like that. As far as, you know, jealousy and, and listen, if you got to look over your shoulder, fellas, or look side eye at a chick because you don't trust her, you don't need her. Why are we even going through this type of stuff? You can't beat nobody into being the model woman that you want them to be. If she made you mad enough to put your hands on her, and you know how modern society is with police and men and domestic issues, you a dumbass and get whatever you get trying to fight on somebody. How you gonna punch a woman in the face, right? And then expect everything to go back to normal. Every time you move, she's gonna be shell-shocked if you hit her hard enough. And it seems like from what was uh, said here with him doing that in public, he wasn't pulling punches. Y'all agree or disagree? I don't know. I think something in some of these men me, think that if they fight on these girls, right, and other people see it and make it look like they really being a man. I think a lot of people don't know what being a man really is because a lot of them was raised without men in their life. To be a man, you got to see one. And that's why it's very easy now for a lot of the young people to be, especially young males, to be influenced by pieces of shit out there that front and act like there's something that they're not and have a false sense of security in their own selves. It's like the blind following behind the blind. This guy right here, totally out of order. This guy, family man, 64-year-old man, trying to do some good. He was out there celebrating something with his daughter. And then seeing that, it might have put him in the mind like, damn, that's somebody's kid. Let me say something at least. He walk up to the dude. What you going to do? Punch him in the face. The dude fall before the dude could even get a word out. That tell you right there, he knew he was wrong with what he was doing. But I'll tell you another thing, too. I don't think this man, Donald Story, knew he was going to punch him in the face. He was going to go over there and try to talk. You can't talk civilized to a savage. A lot of us know that. If anybody was going to approach him, they should have had their feet set. Before, for him to throw a punch or do something where you could defend yourself. But I mean, not everybody sees it like that. You know, nobody, not everybody looks through the uh, lens of rose colored glasses and thinks, you know, you can handle things uh, civilized. But either way, man, this is stupid. He got caught by running his mouth. Yeah, I ain't scared of nothing. Then he admit, yeah, I punched the man in the face because he ran away like cowards do. You punched the dude and then booked the fuck off. You didn't hit that girl and run off, but you hit a stranger and ran off because you seen when he hit his head, he bust his head open and the trauma that ensued. And you wanted to get your face out of there for people to get an accurate description of you. Cowardice at his best, man. You know, I feel nothing for this guy. And they said they, he, he, uh, they trying to give him no bond. And they're holding him until something happened. I forgot to record that part, but it was something minuscule. But either way, man, there's some cowardly people out here. And Mr. Talley is just one of them. Think about it. You fighting on a girl when you could have walked away or just left her ass there and dealt with that. Rather than what you did in killing this man that tried to stop you from, from going to jail in the first place. Yeah, make it make this shit up. I'm Stock Market Steve for the Dynamic Reason channel. As always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.